I was always interested in uh, writing and stories. Uh, I, I like telling a lot of stories to myself as a little kid. But especially in my teen years is when I started getting serious about writing. Um, and a lot of those, those modernist authors that I first started being um, exposed to, uh, Joyce, Gertrude Stein, people from the early 20th century, they were doing things with language I'd never seen before, telling stories in ways that I'd never seen before. Um, and that really got me wanting to not just tell a story, but get in and, and try to figure out how to make language active and, and interesting in those same ways. One of the things that I love about poetry is how much it emphasizes the music of language. So often we use language uh, just to convey literal meanings, but with, with poetry, how it feels, how it sounds, um, becomes so much more important. And that music is, I think, what really got me uh, interested specifically in, in poetry. Language for me is such an interesting aspect of how we are in the world. Um, we often think about it just as, as the way that we name our experience or talk about our experience. Uh, but, but culturally, um, cultures have different words for, for some of the same experiences, right? Uh, in English we only have one word for love, whereas in, in Spanish and Greek there are a variety of words for that, naming different types of love. It, it is not something that just names our experience, but in some way shapes how we are and how we see the world. Whether you're beginning your writing journey or if you've already started writing, uh, it all goes back to reading more and writing more. Um, that you uh, really learn how to read by discovering all of the things that writing can do by reading. And with, with the writing itself, um, you want to have a daily practice. You don't need to create full stories, full poems, full essays every day, but doing some work every day, getting into that routine, is really how you're going to develop and, and create some great work. One thing that I would say when it comes to adversity and difficulty with writing for anybody that, that wants to be a writer is when it comes to actually getting the work out into the world rejection is an even bigger part of that experience than people people often think going into it that you are constantly submitting work sending work out into the world um, and you need to develop a, a, a tough hide there and understand that the work isn't always being judged bad, but the question of whether it's right for the right place. Um, and I think that's something that, that you get more used to, but I think every writer still feels uh, that sense of rejection, but it's necessary if you really want people to see it out in the world. I've had a lot of wonderful poets that I've worked with over the years. I'm living in Las Vegas and, and still here. Uh, the poets Donald Ravel and Claudia Keelan are, are two people that I've worked with uh, for the past decade since I was here. Um, and they're exactly what you hope for with a mentor or a poet to work with. They've been supportive of my work, but they also challenge it. You want somebody who's going to be sympathetic to what you do, um, but you also want uh, writers who are going to challenge you to, to do more, to, to point to the ways where you can push yourself as a, a, a writer a bit more. And both of them have absolutely done that for me. With success in writing, I think the big question is whether or not the writing is useful for you in the world. I think that's, that's real success. So many of the authors that I love are not authors that uh, sold extremely widely. Um, it would be strange to go into, into writing if monetary gain is your idea of success. But engaging with language, we're engaging with something that's outside of ourselves. Every one of these words is a word that is, is not ours, but is a word of the languages. And that's a, a means by which we can think more about ourselves, 
more about our relationships. And when writing starts doing that, I think that's when it's successful. That is also to say that in terms of myself and success, it kind of depends on the day, how the writing's going. Some days that's happening for me and, and some days it's not quite there. Um, but you always have to go back to the page and try again. Some of the authors that I certainly return to often, there's so many great authors out in the world. There's the Swedish poet Tomas Tranströmer, um, the Syrian poet Adonis, um, and I certainly go back to their collected works very regularly. Um, along that same line, in terms of international writing, international poets, um, the poet Yves Bonnefoy, who, who passed away just this last year or two, um, his works are, are such luminous presentations of, of the world around us. Uh, those are certainly three poets who I often go back to. For a younger version of myself, I would try to get myself, I, I would, would tell myself that you really want to go back and look at the things you've written again and again. That editing, that rewriting is really an opportunity to go back into the experience they were talking about when you were first drafting. It's a way to not just fix writing, but to see your words more deeply, to explore them again. Um, and when I was young, so much of my work was drafting, piece after piece after piece. Um, and it took me a while to really find out how editing and revision could be not just an act of fixing the work, but um, a means by which I could understand what I was doing in another life. The VR Lu team was wonderful to work with. They were friendly, they were professional, they helped put up this, this kind of great setup here where we're filming. It was a, a wonderful experience to, to work with these guys. What I would like people to take away when they look at this experience is to think again about art and how it's not just entertainment or escapism, that with art, writing, visual art, anything that you were to look at, it's something that can renew the world, make you see it uh, in a different light, excite you about the world again, um, and that engaging in it yourself, doing something like writing, allows you to do that with, with art on your own, uh, do, do that yourself. Mm -hmm.